there's lots going on these days. My goodness, we pray for the folks in the Mideast and in Ukraine and victims of violence and shooting everywhere and for an outpouring of peace. Secondly, some big days in the church coming up, you know, All Hallowed Eve, Halloween. Now, we won't be doing trick-or-treating here. We're just too out of the way. I hope all of our young ones are safe. We have the great feast of all saints. And then here, and we invite you to this as well, an All Souls Mass at 7 p.m. on November 2nd. There's a little reception afterwards. We bring forward our book of remembrance with the names of loved ones who have died in just a beautiful ceremony. And if you would like to come join us, if you can't but want us to put the names of some of your loved ones who have died, just reach out to us and we'll make sure they get in there. And then, um, this weekend, the parish is very graciously celebrating my birthday and the actual date is October 20th, but we had our fall festival that weekend, so this is great. And you're invited, you know, we have a, at the 1130 Mass, we have a, a little bit of a way to celebrate me there, I guess, a, sh a short two-minute video, really. And then um, afterwards, there's food and a 10-minute video, and I get to say something, and a chance to just, or 10-ish, I don't know chance just to hang out and be with each other. So food, beer, wine, and I think some of my family, which makes me really excited. So join us if you'd like. In any case, there is um, this rule I was given. I don't get to see the two minute video that's gonna play, or even the 10 minute video. I don't get to see these in advance. So um, we'll start the homily after this video. Um, and they're gonna, edited it in later so I don't get to see it until this weekend. Those stinkers. I hope they're nice to me. Anyway, thanks for being a part of, of my life How, in any way that you have been, even if it's only online. And thanks for joining us. Father Joe, on behalf of all the Myrtles, Lulabells, Timmies, Silly Gooses, Wiffle Ball Heads, Banana Brains, and countless others, we are so glad God created you. You have given much of your life so that every person, whether we've come from across the street or across the ocean, trusts and deeply knows our life matters. We are loved. And God is as close to us as our heartbeat. You have taught us every person is unique, gifted, and is a treasure, and that everyone hurts sometimes. You've encouraged us to comfort and stand in solidarity with those who are suffering. Above all, by your words and by your example, you show us how to embrace a deeper and more authentic life. A life that is with God and a life that is for God. Thank you, Father Joe, for being you. Happy 70th birthday, 20 years early. There was once a little boy who wanted to meet God. Now, he figured it had to be a long trip to where God lived. He was pretty little. So he packed his backpack with a few Twinkies and some cans of root beer and started his journey. He had gone maybe two blocks when he met an old woman. Now, she was 
sitting on a bench in the park and the little boy sat next to her. Now when he opened his backpack to take a drink from his root beer, he noticed that the old lady looked kind of hungry. So he grabbed a Twinkie from his backpack and offered it to her and she smiled very sweetly. sweetly. And her smile was so pretty that the little boy wanted to see it again. So he, then he gave her a can of root beer. And again, that sweet smile. And the boy was delighted. And they, they both sat there in silence for a long time, eating and smiling. After a while, the boy realized he was tired. So he got up to go back home. And before he had gone more than a few steps, he turned around, ran back to the woman and gave her a hug. And she gave him her biggest smile ever. When the boy got home, his mom was surprised by how happy he looked. And she said, what did you do today that made you so happy? He replied, I had lunch with God, mom. And before his mom could say anything, he added, and you know what, mom? She's got the most beautiful smile I have ever seen. Meanwhile, the old woman who lived with her adult son returned to her home, smiling inside and out. And her son saw the look on mom's face and said, Mom, what did you, what did you do today that made you so happy? She replied, I ate Twinkies in the park with God. And before her son could say anything, she added, You know, God is much younger than I expected. On one level, of course, both that little boy and the old woman overstate their case, of course. On another level, there is truth to what they say. I know they speak truth because I too have had lunch with God in so many ways. I have had such informal yet real moments with God. Today, Jesus tells us what is most important to him of all, that we love God with all our hearts, minds, and souls, and that we love our neighbors as ourselves. These two are for Jesus profoundly interwoven. And our real growth and faith and life and freedom and joy means that we get this right. And we can understand, I misunderstand, misunderstand this connection between God and us in, in many ways. One misunderstanding is to separate the two completely. So God is out there somewhere, completely separate from us. We have to pray and sacrifice, hoping that God will somehow sunder the heavens to come down and visit us in a given moment or situation. Nope. That's not how it is. Another inaccurate way to look at it is to say we are completely one with God. We are God and God is us. We are the same. No. As one priest I know likes to say, wrong again, banana brain. Instead, the truth looks like this. We are in God and God is in us. God is more than us. I mean, we are certainly not fully God. But there is this place in each of us where we overlap with God, so to speak, where we are both ourselves and more than ourselves. Prayer, you know, authentic spirituality is, of course, learning to connect to that place, to draw on that place. It's, it's crucial for a well 
ordered and meaningful, even joyful life, that we learn this is true, that we get this right, there is this place in us where we are both ourselves and more than ourselves, where we are with God and God is with us and in us. Jesus taught this, of course, perhaps nowhere more clearly than in Matthew's Gospel when he said, I was hungry and you gave me to eat. Not you gave that person or those people. You, you fed me. I was thirsty and you gave me to drink. I was lonely or scared and you visited me, comforted me. I was in prison, heartbroken. You, you were there for me. Me, he says. All of that brings me to this day and to this moment in my life. You know, on this weekend when people are so graciously celebrating my 70th birthday, though 20 years early, I must add, I would tell you that, yes, like that young boy and that old woman, I too have had lunch with God. I've chatted with God on the phone, taken a walk with God, sat across the table from God in a meeting. God visited me when I was in the hospital myself, even played soccer next to me. And God was much younger than I expected, and also much older. Sometimes God was in the nursing home or in a desk in a first or second grade classroom. Sometimes God had Down syndrome. In various ways, God visited me when I was lonely or scared or heartbroken. Occasionally, God showed up in that well-timed word of challenge that was spoken in love. Sometimes I heard God laughing in the laughter. Sometimes I saw and felt God in tears. And often, when no one else was around even, or more likely when they were. God showed up in the compassion that welled up in my own heart for others. And all of these ways that I got to be with God, I also picture you in these few pictures. Because yes, I have had lunch with God, and so have you. You and I can need to continue to train ourselves to see rightly, to see what is most real, God in the human heart, a part of us in each other, and more than us. It was, for me, at least kind of sweet to imagine that little boy Earnestly, earnestly saying that he had had lunch with God and that God had the most beautiful smile he'd ever seen. And to imagine that old woman saying that she ate Twinkies with God in the park and that God was much younger than she expected. Me, I'd tell you this. In a very real way, they both were right.